Welcome to this week's episode of Debrief in Design. This week, we tackle a common issue in real estate, updating a home to the current decade style without breaking the bank. With the current real estate market condition, clients are wanting to get top dollar for their homes, but also need to remove the 70s, 80s, 90s, or 2000s look from the two main areas that show age the most, the kitchen and bathroom. Today, we'll look at what key items we addressed in updating the two bathrooms at our client's house so they can enjoy it briefly prior to putting their home on the market. This is Operation Triple Sinks. Our clients have a background in real estate and purchased their home four years ago. Since moving in, they have completed small projects and tackled updating the kitchen by themselves. When it came time to update the bathrooms, they reached out for some help to make the most economical decisions while giving themselves the opportunity to enjoy their newly updated bathrooms before the next owners. There are various ways to approximate the age of home just by looking at the kitchen. A 70s kitchen typically has solid wood flat panel cabinets painted in a vibrant color paired with a classic laminate countertop. Upper cabinets are usually 24 to 30 inches tall. In the 80s, cabinets became a stained wood color frequently with a raised cathedral door front. Fluorescent lighting became the predominant lighting in the format of a recessed box in the ceiling, and upper cabinets were capped off by a 12-inch drywall soffit. For the 90s, cabinets were often wrapped MDF core in a white color, paired with Corian countertops in a white drop-in cast iron sink. 4x4 ceramic tile backsplash and wallpaper borders were often the finishing touches. Going into the 2000s, square raised panel cabinet doors and a wood stain were often the norm, along with granite countertops and limestone backsplash. Do any of these look familiar to you? For fixtures and cabinet hardware, we've gone from brass, to nickel, to oil rub bronze, to chrome. With current trends bringing matte black or brushed brass, we're excited to see what this decade may bring. The trickiest thing when it comes to getting a home presentation ready for sale is always the fine balance between customizing a house too much and keeping a home as appealing to the mass market as possible. Many clients want to renovate while they are living in a home, but those that are thinking about resale will usually tone down their choices to more of a status quo. That translates to a lot of white on white kitchens with some sort of quartz countertop and white subway backsplash. Moving into baths, we find layouts and materials to be the most distinguishing factor in the age of a bathroom. In our client's primary bath, there is a freestanding shower with a plastic shower pan and wall surround with a prefabricated shower door along with an alcove garden tub. The vanities were older and builder grade along with Hollywood lights over plate mirrors. One sign of a dated bathroom is also when it lacks proper ventilation. Because our client's bathroom was essentially one big open space, the lack of a ventilation fan meant the bathroom would stay constantly humid after someone has used a shower. Looking to correct some functional problems along with improving the age of the master bath, we opted for simple changes that would make a huge impact. We started from scratch knowing we wouldn't change the main layout of the bathroom. However, we did eliminate unnecessary walls that were making the bathroom feel much darker than it was. We removed the alcove tub and the half wall that divided it from his vanity and gave our clients a modernized freestanding soaking tub. Design tip. Although commonly thought to be an expensive item, a great way to score a freestanding tub that doesn't break your budget is to buy one that comes with a tub filler as a set. Oftentimes, buying the two separately will cost over $2,000, but when you find a set, you can easily get it for $500 less. At the shower, we eliminated part of the wall dividing the shower from her vanity in order to open up the corner of the shower and give some much needed light. We also extended the length of the shower and rotated the shower head, allowing the shower to become much deeper. In lieu of the plastic shower pan, we custom poured a shower pan and used 2x2 mosaic tiles that matched the rest of the bathroom flooring. As for the vanities, furniture style vanities make a bathroom feel more high end and expensive. Did you know, when you buy a vanity at a big box store, they often come with a countertop, sink, and a backsplash? That alone saves the budget for custom countertop fabrication and installation labor. For our client's primary bath, we added an integrated LED light ventilation fan over the shower to help brighten the shower along with eliminating the humidity. In addition, we install light bars on either side of her vanity for a more elegant effect as it is better for putting on makeup. We kept our finishes simple and specified a 4x16 white subway tile with accents of gray subways and a shampoo niche. For the main bathroom floor, we opted for a 16x32 rectified porcelain as the open bathroom layout allowed for a larger size tile. 
We split the shower control and located it by the entry so our clients could turn their water on without standing under the rain head while waiting for the water to heat up. In the secondary bath, the builder grade finish out included an acrylic bathtub with preformed tub surround, builder grade vanity, and another Hollywood light over the plate mirror. We installed a new bathtub and took the same white subway towel all the way to the ceiling and installed a shampoo niche. At the vanity, we purchased another prefabricated furniture style vanity with integrated hair styling drawer, changed out the ventilation fan for one with integrated LED lighting, and installed a longer LED light bar over the new frame mirror. Thanks for joining us this week on Debriefing Design. We hope we've inspired those of you getting ready to list your properties for sale to make simple updates that you can enjoy while increasing your return on investment. Updating these two bathrooms took three weeks and the transformation was amazing. If you're not planning on moving but are sick of your outdated bathrooms, we hope we've given you some ideas for your next update. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback about this project. Let us know what type of project you would like to see next. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for new episodes. Operation Triple Sinks. Case closed.